Hi there! In this screencast, I'm going to cover modular programming. Now, a lot of the code that I'm going to show is, is uh, quite complicated and you haven't really learned a lot of it, but I wanted to just kind of show you, um, as you're learning programming, how to program in a modular fashion. Now, let's say you are writing code, you're writing a lot of lines of code, and you're doing the same thing in a lot of different procedures. Um, so you're using parts of the code quite often. What you can do is you can make kind of these subcontracted subs. Um, for example, this sum sub 1 you could write by itself. So this thing is sort of a standalone sub. Similarly, this call of this sum sub 2 would be a standalone sub that maybe you're using quite often. And then maybe you have a function. And so essentially what you've got is you've got these uh, different subroutines that you can call on. So uh, you have your main flow here. You go into your sum sub and you contract out your first sub. You contract out to the next sub. And then you maybe you have a calculation where you're, you're contracting that out to some function. So each of these functions and subs, these procedures, works on its own, and then you kind of put them together into a modular program. So I've got an example here. I've got some data, and we're going to develop a modular program for this. Uh, I've got a bunch of data, just 20, 25 data points, and unfortunately, some students over at School of Mines got a hold of this, and they messed it up. Um, so occasionally we've got 9999s in there, and then we've got some words that have just been typed in there. What I'm trying to do is make a modular program called Analyze Data. It's going to first subcontract out some work to this Remove 9999 sub, and then it's going to uh, eliminate the text. So wherever I have words, it's going to eliminate that and just replace it with blanks. Uh, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the outliers. So this is a statistical method. And then finally, I'm going to, um, we're going to calculate the statistics, in particular the average and the standard deviation. And then we're going to output that in a message box. So each of these subs is a standalone sub that can work on its own. And then we can put that together into our analyzed data subroutine. So I've written all the code here. And again, this is a little bit more complicated than I would expect you to know at this point in the course. We're just getting started. But the main thing is I've got my main uh, sub here. This sub contracts out to the remove 9999. So it'll actually go into here. You, you refer to it. You subcontract out those different subs using the call statement. So we eliminate the text and we return back to the main flow. This line here is a special statement that just removes any row that has a blank in column AA in this case. And then we're going to remove outliers. So we call remove outliers subroutine. It's going to remove any outliers that sort of don't fit in with the uh, other data points. And then finally, we're going to call calculate stats after we've eliminated the all the 99s, 9999s, all the text in our select original selection and then remove the outliers we're going to calculate the average and standard deviation of the data so I wanted to show you how each of the different subs that are in our modular program kind of work independently so first of all let's play the uh, remove 999 so I make that selection and I'm going to remove the 9999s so it eliminates the 9999s I've also uh, let's, all, let's also run the removed or the eliminate text. So that one works by itself. And then finally, the um, remove outliers. Um, so you notice that I have got uh, some data here. And the 2 here and the 19 are actually outliers. So um, we run the remove outliers and we eliminate those. And finally, then on the remaining, uh, if we have some data here, I can do calculate statistics and run that, and it'll give me the um, average of the remaining data, so the filtered data with the outliers removed and then the standard deviation. So um, we can put it all together then because we have a bunch of modules. I've got the, uh, the code here, and let me just zoom out. So I'm going to make a selection, make 
select all that data and now if I just run the uh, the analyze data so that's the one that has them all together it just does everything in one fell swoop right so it filters the data and spits out the average and standard deviation so um, that's how you can you can orient or design your programming to be modular so think in terms of different snippets of code that you could they could stand by themselves that you could use for other applications thanks for watching